Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment channel. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, welcome. Um, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Okay, so first things first, it seems like Normani is finally getting her ass up and she's going to work, okay? Um, you know, she's tired of being the odd one out in the industry who's not putting that work in, all right? Now, maybe she's putting in the work behind the scenes and we don't know, but it seems like that work behind the scenes is coming to light because she has allegedly a new album coming out and it's called The Butterfly Effect, all right? Now, this may or may not be true, okay? Because Normani herself has not came out and said this, but there has been some speculation around this, okay? Now, in my opinion, this I, I, if you know me, you know I know how I feel about Normani and it's just overdue, overdue, but I'm glad she's taken the steps to do this and la launch that album, okay? Um, her career could have been so far by now, but at the same time, you know, what's for you won't miss you. So if she's meant to have that hit career, she's going to have that hit career and, you know, it's just going to happen for her. But yes, I really want her to put her music out and show the world who Normani is because we don't know who Normani is at all. And um, yes, y'all, how do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section and we can go ahead and talk about that. But until then, let's move on to this next topic. Well, 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 it's it seems like Lotto's new song, Lottery, has, you know, it's just not doing what they thought it was going to do. Um, it entered the chart at 80-something last week, and now the song's off of the charts. And that is just very, very embarrassing, okay? Very embarrassing. Um, you know, the song has so much radio play, so much of that, you know, just, you know, all that fluff, all right? And this is what happens when you make music that is not really genuine, okay? I've been saying this for a long time, that Lottery song is not a genuine song from Lotto. It's just a song she made to keep being in the media and get a hit and get numbers and get clout. It's not really like she feels like her passion is in that song. And it feels like a gimmick song to me. That Lottery song feels like a gimmick, aside from the charts, aside from the opinions, aside from all the BS, the song just feels forced and it does not feel like a lotto song it feels like oh i want to get a hit real quick i want to be number one on the charts you know it sounds very doja cat say so vibes and i actually hate that all right and people are wondering wait so lottery lotto song lottery is not on the hot 100 but tory lane's song is on the hot 100 and he's behind bars you know it's just crazy um you know top five on radio as well like i just said and still can't be stable on these charts and still nobody is looking for that song um do you all feel like lotto won't have another song as big as big energy okay do you all feel like big energy is just the biggest song she's ever gonna have and i feel like most likely yes okay i don't want to say no because you know you know that payola be hitting sometimes allegedly but um yeah okay how do you feel about that let me know your opinions down below in the comment section and we can go ahead and talk about that all right let's move on to this next topic all right, all right, all right. There has been some speculation in the media, okay, after Nicki Minaj has went on a station head and she was basically just giving and spilling the beans on her music right now. And there have been some speculation that has been talking about her having a joint album with somebody in the industry, all right? Now, you know, joint albums means, you know, two people on one album, on the same songs, you know, that type of vibe. But I'm trying to figure out who the fuck is on this damn album, okay? I can't put my finger on anybody. Um, I don't want Drake. I don't want Young Money. I don't want Lil Wayne. I don't want none of that, okay? I want a fresh new sound. Um, future, maybe, I don't know. But who do y'all think will be on this joint album, okay? Um, I'm trying to figure that out now. Who could it be, all right? Now, speaking of album talk, okay? Um, you know, as you all know, Nicki has just released her new song, Red Ruby, The Sleaze. And, you know, this has people talking. Is this the new single? Is this the new lead single from the album? And she has came out and said that none of the singles that she has released within the past year and a half, two years, all the songs, all the way back to Megatron, all the way back to Yikes. Yeah, all those are not going to be on the new album. Super Freaky Girl is not going to be on the new album. Um... Red Ruby is not going to be on the new album, okay? So this has me thinking that I think that she has scrapped this album many times, all right? I think that she has had a certain sound for it, and then she changes it up. Um, and I feel like she really scrapped the album around SFG. After the success of Super Freaky Girl, I feel like she changed the album sound. 
But, you know, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. It's not like she's a new artist and hasn't put out a new album. She is a vet in this industry, so she's able to take as much time as she needs to to make an album. But I want that album real soon, all right? But yes, y'all, how do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinions down below. Who the hell was on this damn album, okay? Who was in this damn collaboration album? And are y'all upset that she is not putting any of her newer singles onto the new album? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section and we can go ahead and talk about that. Let's move on to this next motherfucking topic. Well, 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 all that shit y'all was talking about. Oh, why is Chloe going on tour? She's a new artist. Why is she charging um, that low amount for her ticket sales? Oh, Chloe has no hits. She should not go on tour, okay? Chloe had came out and let y'all hoes know that tour is almost sold out okay y'all give her the her a run for her money a run for her damn money and you know for her tour to be sold out i'm glad i am very glad that it's being sold out because y'all give her so much mess every day for just being an artist okay um am i shocked that it's about to be sold out i'm not sh i'm a little bit i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit shocked because you know chloe's new artist da 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 but I, I believe in her, okay? Y'all don't want to believe in these people. Y'all are preying on these people's downfalls. And that's the issue now, okay? Y'all not giving anybody of these artists time to grow. You're not giving these artists any time to grow into themselves, all right? Um, but hey, you really know who the hell you are. So I wouldn't be surprised if you don't give anybody you don't know any leeway at all, all right? But that's my opinion on that. How do y'all feel about these ticket sales? About to be sold out, okay? At the End Pieces Tour with Chloe. Um, I really feel like this is going to be a good start to her. This is going to open the door for her to be able to start touring at arenas, okay? Be able to start touring at, you know, potentially in, you know, a couple decades at stadiums, okay? Um, hopefully, she gets to that point. But this is where she's just starting out now at theaters, you know, smaller venues and working her way up. And she's able to sell these out, which is important because a lot of y'all faves can't even sell out a damn parking lot, okay? You can't even sell out a damn parking lot. In your local grocery store so i don't want to hear anything okay okay y'all so it seems like you know lizzo was having a good old time on her tour on stage okay and she decided to pull her pants down all right and show her bare booty and you know do the flutes while she was dancing and twerking on stage okay um now this has people talking as you all know she's getting a lot of backlash because it seems like she's always doing these you know outlandish things all right now in my opinion do i have a problem with lizzo doing these things i don't have a problem with her doing it at all okay but my issue comes in when she does these things and then expects people to act like you didn't do anything like that's crazy she loves to you know do these crazy things and then get online and act like oh my gosh you guys are body shaming me you just pulled your whole entire pants down and bare ass naked on stage and then shake your booty while you did the flu. And you think people are going to just ignore that and act like it's normal? It's not normal. Um, no matter how much you think it's normal, it's not normal, all right? And that's where my issue comes in with it is that I don't have a problem with her doing what she's doing. But don't expect people to act like you're just singing gospel lyrics on stage. You know what I'm saying? Don't act like you didn't do anything that was controversial. You did. So I don't want to hear her crying tears after this backlash, okay? Because she always does that. Oh, you guys are funny. You look like, please, okay? I understand, yes, people are really cruel to her. They are. They're really harsh on her. But I hate when she plays the victim mode. I mean, but hey, if you want to pull your pants down on stage and share and show your bare booty and do the flute, that's fine all power to you but don't come crying online when the hate gets to be too much okay know what you're getting yourself into and that goes for everybody not just lizzo so let's move on to this next topic all right okay i see you beyonce okay so it seems like beyonce will be appearing in a marvel film okay um beyonce will appear in avengers the king dynasty okay um and this has been a source reported by wood park studios okay now in my opinion am i here for beyonce getting in a marvel film i actually do rock with that i do rock with that okay but i want to know how is she going to find the time to do this project if she's going to be going on tour okay um, you know, I mean, hey, Beyonce, you know, she's able to balance different things. I understand that. But hopefully this doesn't interfere with, you know, her other projects that she has going on. Maybe it's going to be filmed later on. I don't know. But um, I do like this for her. I do like this for her. She hasn't really done any movie roles in a minute. OK, she hasn't been doing her movie bag in a minute. And that Marvel bag is very big. OK, so I'm sure she's going to be having a great time doing that. OK, um, that's what a couple more, you know, tens of millions of dollars that's going to be secured. You know, I'm getting to the bag already 
Um, yes, y'all, how do y'all feel about that? Let me know if you're ready for a Beyonce feature in a Marvel movie coming to a theater near you and let me know how you feel about that, all right? Let's move on to this next topic. Wow, y'all, okay, it's been officially nine months since Doja Cat has been in the mode to release music. It's been nine months she, since she has dropped a song, okay? Now, you know, do I feel like Doja Cat is gonna fall off if she doesn't release a song? Mm, I don't know, okay? If it gets to a certain point where it's like two years in the game, two years, you know, I don't know if she will go that long though, okay? But, um, you know, I do think it's kind of smart for her not to release any music because it was getting to a certain point where she was about to be oversaturated, okay? She had had so many hits off her planet, her album. Her features were going crazy. Vegas was going crazy. Um, the Post Malone song was going crazy. It's good that she's not releasing anymore to build up that hype for her, okay? But if she does wait a little bit too longer, people are going to get tired of her. Well, I don't know about that because, you know, she's not that seasoned in the industry yet. But um, it is very smart that she is not oversaturating herself in this industry. All right. But she needs to come back with a banger. And that's going to really, like, you know, set that thing on fire. OK. But yes, y'all, um, I didn't even realize that it was nine months since she hasn't since she hasn't released any music. OK. I, I don't know why I just have it hasn't felt like it's been that long. Um, It just feels like she's just been doing Doja. OK. She's online in the media every other day for her looks and her crazy ass behaviors okay you know she a weird girl now um you know she's in the media okay and it's like nowadays you don't need to be popping on the charts to really be having your name alive okay as long as you're controversial as long as you can spark conversation you ain't going nowhere for real right and that's the problem nowadays with artists is that they're not always able to sell records because they're just focused on being controversial and just doing things to keep their name alive so when they release music it's crickets but that's not the case for doja because doja can't be doing numbers and stuff but i'm just saying in general um you don't have to really be releasing music to be relevant anymore in today's society with social media and yada 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 okay but yes y'all it's been nine months are y'all missing doja cat um let me know your opinions on that okay and we can go ahead and talk about that all right but that is all i have for you in today's video be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe tap the bell so you can get an alert every time a new video is posted thank you so much for watching be safe